Hello, today I'm going to be making some candy that I hope will taste like payday candy bars. So if you're interested in this recipe, stay tuned. Okay, so what you're going to need for this recipe is some roasted and salted uh, peanuts. I've got two 16 ounce containers here. You're going to need one cup of the Reese's peanut butter chips. Two cups of marshmallows. And about 22 of these little square caramel candies. I've unwrapped all of these individually wrapped candies. And there's about 22 of them here. And a 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk. Three tablespoons of butter, which I have in my pan right here. And I have a 13 by 9 baking pan that I have lined with foil. I don't see the need to um, spray the foil with non-stick cooking spray. I'm not going to spray mine. This is a no-bake recipe. We're just going to heat everything up except for the peanuts. We're going to melt it on the in the pan and uh, put this recipe together. So first of all, I've got my butter in the pan already and I'm going to add my caramels. One cup of peanut butter chips. And I'm gonna open this can and put this whole 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk in my pan. I'm gonna melt all this together with the marshmallows. I've got my burner on about seven, eight, so it's like a medium high. I don't wanna get it too hot. I don't want my candies to burn. I wanna keep stirring this. Meanwhile, while we wait for this to melt, we're gonna get our pan here and we're gonna put, we're gonna cover the bottom with peanuts. I'm going to set this pan aside and pay attention to my pan over here that's melting. And I'm going to add in my marshmallows. I'm going to keep working on this until it's all melted, and then I will come back. And throughout the melting process, I was continuing to lower my heat as I go so it doesn't scorch to the bottom of the pan. Once you got this all melted, I'm going to turn your burner off and you're gonna pour it all over your peanuts. I'm gonna smooth this out and make it even. I'm going to take 
another uh, container of peanuts using the last of this other jar first. And I'm going to cover the top with peanuts, kind of pressing it down so they'll stick. So I'm going to let it sit here on the counter for 30 minutes or so until it gets closer to room temperature. Then I'm going to put it in the refrigerator so it will get cold and set up. And then we will come back and give this a try to see how well it came out. Put it on the counter for about 30 minutes to bring it closer to room temperature. And then I put it in my refrigerator for a good hour, maybe even closer to hour 15 minutes in the refrigerator. And then I pulled it out and I put it in my freezer for about 30 minutes. And now I have pulled it out and it's been sitting here maybe five minutes. Um, I wouldn't recommend leaving us in the freezer. I was just doing that to speed up the cooling process so I can finish the video. So anyways, let's give this a try. It's not frozen, it's just the peanuts I'm trying to cut through. It feels like it might be gooey. Yeah. Really gooey. Um, I've got it on my fingers. So leaving this in the refrigerator overnight would probably be better and it might still be gooey, but let's give it a taste. Other than it being really super gooey, because paydays aren't gooey, this is really close to a payday candy bar. So if you like paydays, I would suggest trying this out. I'd also suggest leaving it in the refrigerator overnight to make sure it doesn't get this gooey. I was just trying to speed up the video. So this is really tasty. I'll be making this again even if it is gooey. Anyway, so I hope you like this video. I hope you make it and try it, and I'm sure you'll like it. But until next time, I'm going to finish eating this piece and then make another video, and I'll see you back here on Survive With What You Know. And have a nice evening and a safe 4th of July.